What is going on YouTube? This is Shy Dinus and I am here today to give you a tutorial on how to remap your Xbox 360 controller by manufacturer like Microsoft to uh, preset it to you know any game you want or just in general like just to set up your controller. So first of all you want to go to your control panel which I want to and you want to go to the devices and hardware and go to view hardware devices and printers or whatever want to right click on your game controller and then you want to make sure the status says OK make sure everything's plugged up and then you want to hit properties once you hit properties you'll go in there and um, you'll see your button layout your axis layouts for your thumbsticks and your throttles and stuff like you see right here and don't forget that uh, clicking your thumbsticks in are also buttons also as well um, stop and start buttons are also um, definitely buttons uh, also you're going to want to download XPatter and what you see me doing here is downloading I already downloaded and installed it and you want to run it in compatibility mode because um, it doesn't run on Windows 8 software but if you don't have Windows 8 it's fine I'm going to go through these steps here. I'll put the uh, download link in the description for you guys so that you can download it in a quick and easy way. And then once you do that, you want to go ahead and go through all this. Um, I went to associate all files, I believe, when I was setting this up. If I'm moving pretty fast, you can slow it down and do other good stuff. But first step is you want to go back to xpatter.com. Do you want to go download a controller format? like it's nothing but a vector image so you want to go to help and then you want to go to controller images once you go to controller images you want to find the brand of your controller pretty much mine is 360 it's made for 360 and it's an official Microsoft con uh, controller now it doesn't matter which picture you pick it's just for your personal preference I just chose the white one because I have a standard white plug-in controller so you're gonna right click and hit copy and you're gonna hit the little bar at the top left there and then hit the little paste button once you do that you can go ahead and start setting up your controller and in order to do that you want to go back up to the top and um, top left and click the little controller or hit I mean my bad hit the setting little wrench or whatever and then once you get there you're going to go to sticks and hit enable and go ahead and fumble with your sticks and the directions that they tell you please make sure you use left stick then right stick not both left stick and on both of the analog sticks I messed up doing that earlier and so my left stick and my right thumb stick will be doing the same thing uh, once you do that you can actually label each button and everything too as well so you can always be you know know what button is what next you want to go down to the d-pad set it up up down left right whatever and you see that's so all I'm assigning my buttons and putting them in the specified place now buttons you actually might want to do this last but I did it first and what I did is you hit when you go to the buttons tab all you gotta do is literally tap the button that you are pressing and it'll come up on screen once you put it coming up once it comes up on the screen you want to take it and drag it to anywhere that the button is on the controller and I'm actually renaming my buttons as well I don't know that might actually help later on but um, yeah you want to go ahead and go through your whole button list pretty much and go ahead and click and drag every button you know on your controller to the specified area so just in case you know I, I label mine just in case my stuff just gets out of whack for some odd reason I don't know what is what so I'll just be like oh I know this is that this is that this is that and then I can just reorganize everything so I'm gonna let you just finish watching this part dun, 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 dun. you see how I'm dragging it to the specified locations as it's very helpful in the long run so you can just be organized and with this you want to save like your button layouts by default and then um, your controller layout by default and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second only crappy thing is you can't use your Xbox guy button unless it's a different controller to where it's actually a button but like on Steam they, they account for that button so it's fine especially if it's a Microsoft Xbox 360 controller like I'll go to big picture mode I can hit the little guide button and it will come up on Steam uh, for PC gamers, if uh, you go to your Steam client and go to big picture mode, it's like almost having an uh, Xbox guide. Okay, once you're done with that, um, oh yeah, you gotta put your little sticks in there too. 
Don't forget to click your uh, left thumb sticks and whatnot. And I keep going back and forth. I was I'm checking all my buttons and stuff like that. Do 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 do. After that, triggers is just squeeze left trigger, squeeze right trigger, and then you'll drag those to the specified areas. And see, so, yeah, when you click your left thumbstick and you want to put that in the middle of your uh, your thumbstick axis or whatever, it looks a little weird, but trust me, it's, it's, it's for a good reason. It's a good purpose. All right, and then um, I should be going to triggers next. Yeah, double checking all my buttons. Da, 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 da. Okay, yeah, then you go to triggers, hit enable. Make sure you hit enable on everything. That's how you actually get the buttons to pop up and whatnot. And then I'm just dragging to the area I think is suitable. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now you see my default layout. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and save it as my default controller layout. So I don't have to remap my controllers all the time, every time, just in case my, my stuff crashes or whatever. So I'm gonna call it empty default Xbox C60 mapper. I'm gonna hit OK, and that's gonna be the automatic file that comes up every time I plug in my controller, which is fine. I don't I don't care. I don't mind. And so the left side is for your uh, button layouts, and the right side at the top right there where I just clicked is for the button settings. So like what you configure it for. And with me, I configure my stuff for a lot of games. And so I'm going to go ahead and save these for a button preset layout. But um, let me know if you guys want me to do a video about uh, button layouts for certain games that are and aren't button compatible, uh, controller compatible for PC. And I'll definitely post that up there for you guys. Thanks for watching. This has been Shad Donis on how to set up your controller using X Pattern for the PC. Thanks. Please subscribe, like, or comment. Have a good one.